Hey guys, this is the Goldfish, and welcome to back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be looking at the Visual Enhancement mod. Now, I know that um, I sort of, this, this series, my little mod series, is more about um, not all too known mods. Um, but this is a, definitely a mod that falls under the category not all too game changing, but will make KSP oh so much cooler, which is sort of what I've been trying to uh, stick with with this mod. And as you can see here, this whole planet, it has clouds. Yes, it's been made to look a whole lot lovelier. And if we fast forward here, make our way up, you'll see that these clouds look beautiful. And it, it just really adds a sense of even more beauty to the game of Curl Space Program. Uh, for the rest, it obviously doesn't change anything. It's it's purely just um, just visuals. Let's see if we can circularize this orbit. Shouldn't be all too hard. I'm using infinite fuel for the people wondering how this is flying. <laughs> um, but if we head out here, that is oh, <laughs> that's the achievements mod that I covered earlier. Um, don't mind that. If we head round to the dark side of the planet here, Kerbin, as the sun starts to set, you'll see that there are actually city lights as well down on the planet below. Um, so not only do we have uh, clouds, we also have lights that shine up into the into the night sky. Um, this is not on every planet. Uh, let's quickly go through the planets that have been updated with this. If we switch to not the sun. Moho, you'll see, is, uh, if I believe, uh, if I'm correct, still exactly the same. Eve, however, look at this. Eve has had quite an update. Um, it's pretty much like all clouds now. You can't even see through the cloud layer. But it just looks amazing. And if we use this planet, uh, or this, uh, this is hyper-edit, a different mod completely. We can edit our orbit. We can say 100,000. Um, around Eve, set, there we go, now we're, oh, <laughs> there's the achievement again, now we're around Eve, if we head out into normal view, uh, move this out of the way for now, you'll see no city lights on Eve, obviously, oh, a stable orbit around another planet, uh, these achievements are actually a little bit annoying, um, anyway, I, I have all the mods I've covered up till now in the same save file, Okay, here we go. Here is Eve, and as you can see, the clouds, they're actually moving, which makes it really trippy if you just look down to the planet below, because it almost feels like you're orbiting that way around, when in actual fact, we're, we're, you, know, you know, we're going that way. But the clouds are moving faster than us, so it feels like we're going the other way. Kind of like when you're at a stoplight and the like car next to you starts driving and you feel like you're going backwards. That's kind of what it feels like now. But let's actually go down and we can um, get the ship lander here. And we can say altitude. Let's just land it right there. Oh, uh, We lost an engine somehow it seems. Oh, pfft. another achievement. Can we fast forward yet? Yes, we can. Let's go to the daytime. So here we are on Eve. And if you look up, if we can get the camera to point up, we can actually see the clouds passing over, which is, of course, amazing. Um, we can sort of go up into the higher atmosphere here with the camera and see what's happening in space. And as you can sort of, you sort of see as you move down, gets thicker and thicker and it it really just sort of fits with um, Eve because of course Eve is a very thick atmosphere so it looks pretty bloody amazing if we go back to the night time here we go watch the clouds pass by um, night time please hello Bring me to the night time. There we go. And then we zoom back in. You'll see no clouds. You can't see the clouds either because the... Or no, not clouds. You can see the clouds. You can't see the stars because 
the clouds are so thick. So, very cool addition to EVE. It, it really is like a big old fuzzy planet now. Big old fuzzy planet. Gilly hasn't changed. Kerbin, we've obviously seen. Moon, Minmus. And then if we have a look at Juna, Juna has actually changed as well. You can already see some clouds here. Um, let's get back out the orbit editor. And let's put it around Juna. Set. There we go. Gonna get probably another achievement. There we go. And let's get out of out of map view and look down at the planet as we move over here. Get into a stable orbit without launching. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Okay. So if we look down at the planet below, you can see the clouds. Um, let's let's land her. Land. Here we go. Oh, we are on the dark side again. It seems. Where is... Okay, there is Juna. Let's make our way down. Uh, okay. Land on the surface of Juna. Here we go. So let's go ahead and warp over to the daytime as we see the clouds passing by. Here we go. Is this a magnificent sight or is this a magnificent sight? Um, let's let's go into cinematic view here. We'll close all of these. Have a look at Juna. This is just this. Uh, I don't know. I I almost like Juna more than Eve because Juna it's just like with the horizon there and the clouds and the sun just passing through it. Like let's just make the clouds slowly move there. Is this a magnificent sight or is this a magnificent sight? Speed it up a little more here. See the sunset. There goes the sun. And then out come the stars. There's Ike. So you can actually still see the stars here, unlike Eve. Obviously, there's a very thin atmosphere. And the, the clouds sort of... You can see it in the clouds as well. And you, you sort of occasionally see clouds passing by over the... Over the um, night sky as well if you have a look there not sure how visible it is on youtube but you can see him pass over so i don't know i i really like juna as well if we then move on to dress hasn't changed jewel jewel has changed as well if you have a look here um very pretty very pretty indeed um let's set it around uh, jewel let's add another uh, let's set this to 500,000 though. There we go. Out of this view. And it's obviously nighttime. You can see Lathe over there, which we'll get to in a little bit. Here we go. Jewel. I don't know. Jewel is, in my opinion, the least um, good of them all. Um, let's add another zero here. Set. Oh, where where are we now? There we go. Now we got a little bit more of a proper view of Jewel. Obviously the clouds move there as well, as you just saw if we fast forward here. Um, yeah, it, it, it gives a very cool view as well, the, the moving clouds, which is, which is good. But for the rest, uh, Jewel isn't that incredibly impressive in my opinion. Um, obviously it doesn't have a... a place to land on either so we can't check that out but but anyway if we then um set this around uh lathe uh set here we go this is lathe in the night time lathe doesn't have city lights either but if we fast forward to the daytime um you'll see that lathe sort of uh, it's, it actually pretty much resembles Kerbin but smaller uh, obviously, Lathe has more oceans than Kerbin. But, you know, the clouds, they look similar. It's, it's yeah, pretty alright. Um, let's see. Here we go. Seems like the clouds may be slightly thicker. It might have some more clouds. Um, focus on Lathe. Here we go. Um, other than that, I guess we can try land it. Uh, the lander, set it to 50, land, let's hope we're, oh, are we, are we gone for? Oh, well, okay, 
That was that was the end of that ship. We'll we'll have to make another one in a second. But if we if you look here, the skies look very beautiful. You see um, the clouds with the over the horizon there. It looks looks amazing. Um, and if we fast forward a little bit here, we can just see the clouds moving by. Um, I can't warp into the night time because we've got physical time warp. But obviously you'll be able to see the clouds through or, or the stars through the clouds here as well. Uh, a very, very pretty indeed. Let's just see what is the next planet that we have to have a look at. I don't think Val changes all Tylo, Bob, Paul, Elu. Um, I think that was actually it. Those were all the, um, the changes made. So uh, we don't actually need to get a new ship. As you can see, though, that this mod, um, it, it really does make the, the different bodies look oh so much more beautiful. Um, so, you know, go check it out for yourself. A link to the mod will be in the description, as always. Uh, go check it out. Uh, stay tuned for the next mod review next Friday. I, I missed, I believe, two weeks because school was just incredibly busy. But uh, I do want to start uploading these weekly again. So stay tuned for the next one. Let me know what you thought about the, the mod down below. And I will see you all next time.